Check out this clip from the Uchi Show. Right now, my question to you, though, is how is it around that crew? I mean, you joined them after a couple of seasons already been put under their belt. The show has exploded. And now you're walking and you see these people like the Michael Imperiolis, the James Gandolfinis, the Edie Falcos. How are they toward you every time, like, a new cast member well, I had worked is brought with on? Michael before we, Michael, worked together on a couple. Right. And the good to, to work is with him, was with him. So it was nice to kind of have that, uh, you know, we already knew each other thing going on. Right. But also, <clears throat> we'll be with Edie. But there were other, you know, very intimidating situations working with Gambolfini and, um, of course, Tony Sirico. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so, you know, you kind of have to feel your, your way in there. You don't, you don't, you have to know your place, you know. I'm not, these people have been there for six years, four or five years, and, you know, here's some new blood coming on. You kind of have to feel your own way, you know. Don't uh, assume anything. So I kind of like stayed in the background most of the time and spoke when spoken to, you know what I mean? Right now, how how closed is that script? I know that they they you do you sign an agreement with them not to open your mouth about anything that you see. You have to do that, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, a lot of times you're in the dark. You know, I mean, we we shot a, a, a funeral scene this year that'll be coming up in you know in April, and uh, they put you know five different actors in the casket on each take. You know, just to throw off the cast. You know, they. You Are know, you serious? They do stuff like that. Yeah, you know, <laughs> know who's funeral, funeral you're at, you know, as an actor. I'll give you another another great example is last year, one of my first scenes, <clears throat> you know, how Tony gets shot in the first episode. Yeah, yeah. So he comes back from the hospital and he shows everybody, you know, his massive scar up up, up his front of his body there. Right. And we're sitting at the table and we're admiring the big scar. And I remember sitting doing that scene and having no idea why he had this scar. Oh, really? So, you know, because I, I didn't know he, he had gotten shot. I, I, you talk, I did like six, seven episodes last year, and I didn't, I had no idea until I saw at the premiere, the first episode, that he was even going to be shot. So you're just as surprised as the next person sitting there enjoying it for the first time. Right. So I have to be like, oh, yeah, oh, cool, glad you're back. Yeah, oh, looks great. You know, good to have you back, Skipper. And then not even knowing why he was gone. Right. Now, another question for you, and I don't know if you can answer this for me. What did he say? <laughs> James Gandolfini on line four right now. James, <laughs> hey, it was just a weird appendicitis scar. They did it the wrong freaking way, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta ask Barry White about that. He knows all about it. Well, we've spoken to Barry White last week on the program. Get Barry White on line five. Barry, go ahead. Welcome to the program. Yeah, it's really good to uh, come back from the dead. Uh, how y'all doing? We're great, sir. And how are you? How's the afterlife treating you? Yeah, they're not bad. Um, they don't have any cool cigarettes, but that's all right. <laughs> Harry, we're talking about a wonderful actor, James Gandolfini, and I know one of his uh, favorite heroes is Al Pacino. Have you have you jumped, bumped into Al recently? I don't do that, Letty. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan of man. The law puts us into everything. <laughs> Lenny, can you do any voices? No, I, I have a hard enough time doing my own. <laughs> <laughs> for more clips from the Uchi Show, check out uchi.com for more details.